Hello KW agents. Today we're going to talk about how to customize your homepage for command. So again, to log into command, we're just going to visit agent.kw.com, enter your username and password, and then that is going to take you to your homepage, your dashboard, which might look a little bit different than mine. What we're going to talk about is the way that you can then customize this so that you're seeing what you really need to at a glance when you first log in. So to do that, when we first log into command, we're going to look for the Customize Home button right up here at the top right. We're going to click on that button, and then we're going to see that we have two options over here. So over on the left, we have all of the different widgets that we could view on our home page. So tasks are going to show you your upcoming tasks that are due, both for contacts as well as opportunities. Product updates is going to come directly from the KWRI development team and it's going to show you what has been updated over the past week as well as some updates that might be coming out soon. Goals versus actual is going to show you once you've inputted your goals for the year where you are as far as what you've done so far in production versus hitting those goals. <clears throat> design updates is going to show you any new designs that they've created and then also spotlight some designs that some Keller Williams Associates have made. Database health comparison is going to show you how your database health compares with other agents, but also give you just a sneak peek and a snapshot of what percentage of your database you have with an email address, uh, neighborhoods, phone numbers, some really good information. Notepad is going to be just to put some thoughts out there, just um, exactly what it sounds like a notepad if you want to put anything in there. That would be very general, not just contact based. Leads is going to show you any new leads that you have. This might be from Facebook campaigns, this might be from your consumer app, your website, or anything else. Leads notifications. And then the playbook, which is going to show you um, videos that are from KW Connect, interviews that Gary is doing with associates in the company. So the first thing that we have to decide is what widgets do we want to view. So we might say, um, I definitely want to see the tasks. I don't necessarily need to see this. I want to see my goals. We'll take this off. So again, this is a complete personal preference. So you decide for yourself. We're just going to move some things around to show you how it works. So we're going to take all of these things off. And then over here, you'll see we can drag and drop to rearrange the order of these widgets. So let's say that I actually want my lead notifications to be up higher. I'm just going to take this card and just take it up here to the top because I want to see my tasks, then my leads, then my goals, and then my database health. Um, over here on the right, I've got my leads up here and it, uh, let's say that I did want design updates. I can come over here and say I want to see my leads at the top right up here. So I'm going to make any changes that I want over here, drag and drop to rearrange the order that I want to see them, and then just hit the button right down here that says apply. And then give that just a moment and then you'll see we have your tasks right up here. We've got your recent leads. If we scroll down the page, we've got design updates. We've got goals versus actuals, and then we've got that database health comparison. So the way that you can rearrange your database, and then if you don't like this, we can also come up here and choose customize home, and again, rearrange that dashboard. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.